guys, Blade Chair. It's uh, Friday the 23rd, uh, two days from uh, Christmas. I just want to wish you guys a happy uh, New Year and a Merry Christmas or Halloween. Yeah, it's starting to look like Halloween, the garage, guys. It's pretty dark in here. It's pretty scary, especially when some stuff works, some don't. But I appreciate you guys sticking with me for this uh, the year 2016. And we... Uh, it's been a good year. We have so much fun, and maybe if you got time and you're bored, um, go check out this year's videos and the previous years, or even my oldest ones. And uh, man, guys, I've been on YouTube for six years now since uh, December 2010, I believe. So that's pretty cool, guys. I uh, figured I'd play some more Christmas music and stuff, and just vlog with you guys. It's been a good year. It's been a good year. We got the. Uh, Stamp Bell T11 cutting grass, and I probably just gotta wire in another uh, another uh, diode in there with uh, diode in there for the uh, the PTL switch because currently the PTL is powering the uh, the regulator or the stator on the on the uh, the uh, snapper is uh, powering the uh, PTL. And I wouldn't have to change out the engine on the stamper engine if I play close attention because it was the gas tank. And those gas tanks seem to get kind of gummed up and not work. I love they had another gas tank, a spare from the uh, original stamper, which I probably have to get another uh, fuel shut off for it so it runs correctly. Plus, I gotta get a uh, deflector. I'm gonna get in a lot of trouble for playing this, guys, but. Oh, it's Metallica. Metallica Christmas music, why not? But, yeah, and I, I slapped the MTD engine on there. I could just slap that uh, Polestar uh, 1990 uh, brakes on there. And if I swapped out the gas tank, it would work. I, I kept thinking, no, it's not the gas tank. Just why would he do that? And then the same guy has another snapper for sale that I got the, the rear engine from. And he has a gas tank problem, not getting gas. So maybe he knew about mine doing that when he sold it to me. And he's, Checking his list, checking it twice, and uh, making sure that snapper is not on your nice when he sells it, guys. But it's been a good year. I, I want to take out the green tractor soon and uh, drive it around the snow for work. And I gotta get the left uh, mud or ATV tire on there. I may sell it because it's a gas hog. I really don't want to because it's it's hard finding twin engines, let alone something that old. And it's from 1987, guys. And the, the, the Samper LT11 is from 84, so you figure 32 years from correct on the, uh, no way, 33 years on the Samper from correct, and uh, 30 years on the um, green tractor. And that Samper engine from the 80s, plus we got the count, plus we got the simplicity. Um, I gotta, I, I cleaned this garage a bit in and out there in the winter, but it gets cold in here. Well, I'm glad I got my uh, work back situated, guys. And it's just me and my mother for Christmas. It's kind of sad. My most of my family's dead and gone. I don't know where even my relatives are if I have any. And I thought about doing that uh, ancestry or that was it called animal family tree stuff uh, online or something and see if, if I'm actually related to the uh, the guy that's currently uh, playing Donald Trump on Saturday Night Live. You know who he is, Alec Baldwin. And, his mother lives over near where from in this area, Camillus, New York. She still lives there. And the Baldwin brothers come here all the time for golf and at the casino in Syracuse. So who knows? Who knows what my family lineage is? I don't know. I just have a mother. My father was an asshole. He didn't want me. So yeah. And uh, my uncle, I bought the stampers because of him. He uh, was kind of like a father figure to me. It was great. Um, sad thing is, he passed away cutting grass, of all things, and I got many fun, fun memories of my grandmother and him for Christmas, and just him just trying to get my toys together and swearing about it, and, and then I would have the dreams about him swearing dressed as Santa, I'd be like, Santa, why are you swearing so much? Oh my God. But he was a great guy, and he even used the snappers to, to cut lawns in the area with his uh, friend, uh, Mike, and we called him Headley because it was kind of funny. He, um, uh, I'm going to change, I'm going to shut the radio off, I'm going to just leave it. Uh, hopefully they play music, but I might get in trouble for copyright, so I don't think he copyrights too much Christmas music. 
But, um, yeah, he mowed lawns and stuff, and his friend, we called him Hudley and stuff, it's kind of funny, and my uncle had the nicest, uh, 69, uh, Chevy C10 truck, and I was hoping it was still there when he passed, because I really wanted it, and I really enjoyed driving around with the truck when I was little, and it came from Arizona, and, um, Mike still's got his truck from Arizona, my uncle's best friend, we called him Hudley, they apparently grew up together, and he's got to be in his 50s now, and, I'm probably telling you too much stuff. My uncle had his first heart attack at 39, and then he uh, had his second one at uh, 49, and it was hotter than a bastard that day, and he really should have been working with a heart condition. Technically, he could have been on, he could be on if you got a heart condition, he could be on disability is one of the uh, factors for it. But, yeah, well, me and I got the snappers because it's nostalgia from my childhood, and and if he was here, me and him probably be working on the mowers together. He, we'd be having angry uh, swearing competitions. So you could now swear each other actually fix something. And it's kind of funny. I'm like looking at my videos for the summer and stuff. And I'm like, I don't remember doing that. And I, I told my mother that. She's like thinking probably because it was a little traumatic working on the stuff. Because you're like troubleshooting and stuff and not used to it. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm like looking at the videos. I'm like, I'm fascinated by it. I'm starting to remember stuff. And I filmed it. I don't even remember putting the solenoid in the, uh, the dream track. I thought it was towards the beginning of the year. I remember more struggling with the Stamper engine, trying to place engines on it, like Cinderella looking for her missing shoes or something. And Prince the Stamper and uh, Prince Green Tractor and the the Duke or the King uh, Sam L T eleven traffic guys, my mind. But I love this garage, it's a good space, it's kinda of like the style of an old pole barn or something. It's really cool guys. I hope you have a great but I love this garage. I figured I'd talk to you guys a minute. Uh, please, please, please check out my old videos. I could really use the views and there's not a lot of videos that got a lot of views and there's uh, some that got more than others. And one of those videos of me, you know, the neighbor Ray, uh, got like 13,000 views and was out there weed whacking that huge hill. My God, it's pretty cool. Man, I just hope you guys have a great Christmas and, and just hope you get everything you want for Christmas. Maybe you got dreams and stuff. And honestly, what I would want for Christmas, you know, like, all the stuff for free that I can work on for the rest of my life. And um, I want peace on earth. Yeah. Recently, guys, I went on this blind date with a girl because I haven't dated in a while. And uh, fuck, I, I got really bored and I started filling out those little mazes, those pirate mazes they give you at the Denny's when you're trying to like, do a maze and find an escape. And, I was like, oh my god, I'm doing this, and now I have to escape the blind date and find an exit strategy and those up. Man, it's really helping me out, guys. Oh my god, my fucking neck just cracked. Holy fuck. Guys, sorry I swore, but I, I really enjoyed this year and filming with you guys and putting the content together, and I hope you enjoyed every minute like I did. And it, it's just fun putting this stuff together and building stuff, and I'm getting better as I progress, and the sad thing is, the better I'll get, the more damage my back will get and hurt. It hurts right now, honestly, guys. It's on and off. It just depends what I do during the day or if I lift something or what I can do. But, yeah. And, um, I, I got the snapper sign on eBay about four years ago for, like, uh, uh 35 bucks. And it shipped it. And I didn't care. It was all rusted. I thought it had a new character. This is the oldest license plate I have. I'm surprised I won it. It's a 1926 Indiana license plate. It's not a reproduction or anything. You can tell by the rust of the antique. This is probably like an old Model A or Model T car or maybe something like that. It was pretty cool. I had to have it. I lucked out. I got it the last minute on eBay. And oh yeah. But guys, um, what else can I say? I'm going to re-wrap this garage and make it into a nice shop. It's going to be cluttered and some of my stuff has to go. And You can't keep everything. And It's horrible when you're working on stuff. You grow attached to it. And it just breaks your heart when you have to sell it when it's, the project's finished. And, and then you're like, kind of like an addict. Kind of like a, a drunk addict. But a, a junkie. You want to get bitten by the bug. You just want to keep fixing this stuff and keep working on it. And, 
and you just don't want it to end, and it's just sad when you have to sell stuff. It's, it's just sad, and you grow up, you get an attachment to the things you don't want to sell it, because you're worried you'll never see anything like it again, or be able to work on something even that comes close to it, guys. It's, it's just sad. I, I didn't make it to Lowe's to get some uh, Christmas presents for my mom, maybe some tools and stuff. And, um, man, hopefully, uh, YouTube wants to be put this, uh, video up with it, uh, with it being copyrighted music, because you can hear the, uh, the announcer lady on there, too. And, uh, man. But it's just been, it's been an awesome, it's been a really fun year. I know I already said this, I enjoyed talking to you guys and showing you. It's my nice. life and Merry stuff, Christmas and uh, to tomorrow is Saturday, of course, here's to a great Christmas Eve, to got JoJo's uh, Bizarre Adventure Marathon on, uh, uh, what do you call it, on uh, freaking uh, Cartoon Network's Adult Swim Tsunami, and I got thinking I could uh, shut this freaking radio off, but I got thinking that I could just watch something on Kiss Anime. And I'm sorry there, Gingerbread Tuber. I neglected to video on the tablet. I tried to show something about it in one of my live videos, if you can find it. And, um, guys, share my videos. Get me around. And some of you guys like me, and some of you don't. And, um, I'm not for everybody. And my views and my jokes aren't for everybody. And I notice I'm getting, like, female viewers now. So I really got to watch what I say, and I'm going to... Well, not the lip, because I say stuff that comes to mind, and I, I think it's funny, and I've always done this. I just say the first thing that pops in my head, and I'm like, no, I shouldn't say that, but it's funny, why not say it? And some of my videos are kind of um, dirty or derogatory, and I just try to tone it down and keep it cool and nice. But yeah, guys, I just can't wait. I'm going to wait for a January thaw, and I'm going to take this off. Uh, green tractor, hopefully we got a little dust on the ground and I'm just going to whip it around the snow a bit even without the other mud tire on it. It's a gas hog, guys. It's a real gas hog. But, whew, that's a mouthful, guys. I just love this garage. I love being in it. It's kind of like my fortress of solitude or my back cave, guys. But, it's just awesome and it's so much fun working on this stuff and just continuing to do it. And I, I got bitten by the tractor bug and I tried to work on stuff when I was as a teenager, mowers and stuff, and that was back when we had freaking Windows 95, and it took uh, a half hour to, to download a picture or watch a video or something, and YouTube wasn't around, and there wasn't all these good people and how-tos and how to fix these machines and keep the upkeep on them and stuff, and it's just great. We have YouTube, and maybe someday we won't have YouTube anymore, and Twitch will replace it. I don't even know what Twitch is, but I heard of it. Or Twitch is more for all gaming guys, but I'm glad there's YouTube around, and I don't pay for YouTube Red, but apparently, I'm mean, even some of my videos are on YouTube Red, and I don't know how that's possible. I did okay, I'm gonna be on YouTube Red, maybe. YouTube Red is the same thing as regular YouTube, but you just pay, so you don't have to, uh, a few commercials and stuff, and honestly, I enjoy the commercials, and I mean, it's, it's great having commercials, and with the uh, exception or the, well, I think that's right, with the exception of uh, Netflix, you don't get commercials in the shows, guys, and I love Netflix, and for like five freaking days it wouldn't work, and I read on the site that people were having trouble with it, it's been five days, and then they finally fixed the bug, and I wrote, I bitched about it on Facebook, and maybe Mark Zuckerberg says, hey, my Netflix don't work either, and you guys better fix this design. Got more money than you, and I'm bigger than you because I got Facebook. And well, it'd be funny if uh, Mark Zuckerberg bought MySpace and this combined all the the BS and the, the Facebook that MySpace had. And who knows? I think MySpace is still there. You can still get to it. And I had a page that wasn't as popular as my uh, Facebook page. And ah, my God, I'm a freaking chatterbox, guys. But maybe I'm just sad because I haven't talked to you guys in a while. But I, I try to film videos, I try to do what I can, and it, some YouTubers, they film all every day, and they're really popular, and they got no lives, and maybe someday I'll actually got, get noticed, and maybe I'll have my own show or something, just come in here and do that, and I kind of already have my own show, guys, it's called Watch Bleach, Curse, and Swear, and Tell Jokes, and Work on His Junk. I love 
this. I love being in this garage. I just love the atmosphere. I love the smell of this old dusty garage. And I'll try to get in here and out of here and do some stuff. I may we get like a 40, 50 degree day, which will be rare. I was actually uh, 43 degrees the day where I was here. But if I get like a, a day, I had to do some stuff in this garage. And um, telling the truth, I want to scrap the simplicity because it's really rotten underneath. Uh, by the transmission, like pitted and stuff. I'm sitting outside, and the underneath on this green tractor is so much better shape, which you can't see right now. And I do want to keep the green tractor. And I don't know if you remember that Tecumseh that's the same as the Tecumseh on the Stamper Comet. And the Stamper Comet's missing the points and stuff. And the uh, engine block is broke on the, the Craftsman uh, crash on the Craftsman 525 rear engine thing that I got in here. And, I'm going to try and get that engine working this year and put it on the Comet. And then I could have like a, the original engine that was on the Comet. It would be cool. And then I got another deck from that Comet from the, the other broken snapper. So yeah. I have some ideas what I could do here. And maybe I'll sell the green tractor. Or keep the green tractor. I don't think I could even sell the snapper, the Simplicity 4211. Because it's, it's just not safe with it being rusted and stuff. And... That Kohler that's on there runs pretty good. It's loud and it idles high, but I'm wondering if it seems to idle high because the muffler is damaged and the baffling and it could just sound like that, I'm wondering. I gotta figure out how to work some kind of muffler dealy onto that. And maybe I'll mount that engine onto something else. And there's a guy on Craigslist that has a Briggs engine and way too far from me that runs he wants only twenty five bucks for it. I'm like I get it, just having all our engine around, and he's also uh, selling it with the wiring attached to it, so that's a plus. Generally, when you want to sell an engine out of a lawnmower, it's good always to rip out the wiring with it so they can just weave it in there, what they're doing, and have it start, crank, and kill. So, yeah. I don't know when to end the video, guys. Forgive me if it's long. I just have a lot to say, and it's lonely in this small town, and you, the people that are in cities and stuff, and and YouTube is just awesome and great. You can connect with other people and stuff. And freaking troll people trolling me this year. That's why I was messing around with the troll dolls and stuff, trying to be a goof. But like me, hate me. I do what I can, and I try to to do the great, the, the best videos I can. And it's just kind of hard being by myself. None of my friends, if I even have friends anymore. I mean, I do. I have a, I don't talk to them every day. And, I don't take life seriously. I just look at life as a joke and you just gotta laugh at everything. And that's how you get through stuff. And some things are sad and you shouldn't laugh at it. And some you should. I love you guys and I just hope you get something out of this video. And sorry I kinda went on a rant, but I give anything if I can see my uncle and my, my grandmother this for Christmas. and. Sometimes I feel, and we all feel like this, that we, we messed up our lives and we could have done better in the past. And we, we got the future now. And, yeah. I love you guys. I'm going to let you guys go. I don't even know if I should put this video up, but I tried. And, um, it's just sad because I can't work on this stuff for a while and it's going to be cold. And I got everything pretty much working and there's really no more projects. But with spring, I just go through everything and see what I got and what I can do. But I love you guys. I'm going to let you go. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Get my videos around whether you like me or hate me. And if you ever wanted to send some fan mail to me, PM me and I give you my address. And hopefully the post office don't steal it like they did with my tools that one day. And...